From NBC News, this is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hi, everybody. It's Monday. Thanks for starting off your week with us. It's November 23rd. Two, two days to prepare for the big Thanksgiving Day on and, Thursday. And one day after my brother's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Adel. Adel. Yes. Yeah, and they're coming up to be with you. Yes, they are. They're taking mm. the Amtrak train Good. to New York City. And we've got to squeeze in. I have a little apartment. It's right. two-bedroom, but it's got to be me, my mom, my brother, his wife, and their daughter. Hannah. Five <laughs> squeezed in. That's called Thanksgiving. That's yes, when you can't get away from your family. All going to be on top of each other. Mine's coming as well, when and there are, are more than 19 people at my house, so yeah, I'm, de I'm desperately trying to get... Who are these people? Who's I don't coming? know, they look familiar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of them, I'm sure, is my mother, <laughs> yeah. my sister, my brother, my niece, and my, you know, nephew, and not, no nephews, and another niece and her daughter, you know, we, we've lived a long time now. You've got a lot so of people. We have, we have a lot of people that just live in our house to begin with. I you know. know. So, and, and we're we trying can't. to finish a construction project to have mm -hmm. it done by Thanksgiving, and nice. that's, uh, thank you to everybody that's working their buns off but I was in full construction mode on yeah. Saturday what was going on well you know you got you got to get the last minute stuff so that's there when the guys need to put it in uh -huh. you can't say please make my sink work if they don't have faucets right, right? I hear you so anyway Frank who thinks a sink comes with a faucet gets yeah. is good about it but he has his limits so uh -huh. so uh, we decided we'd go downtown and go to a, a lunch in the middle of all this and then go to the big opening of the beautiful new Ralph Lauren store uh -huh. um, on on Greenwich Avenue right uh -huh. so we go and I am looking like one of the construction guys at my at my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess who's there? Yeah. Ralph Lauren oh. and <laughs> and his wife. No, looking like they've just walked out of a safari, right <laughs> out of the Mount Kenya <laughs> Safari Club with the Jofers and the whole thing. And I happen to be wearing a jacket. And he comes up to me and he goes, oh, this is one of mine. Oh. And I'm going, well, I, I don't think so. I, I, I said, gee, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't that be embarrassing if it was Tommy Hilfiger? I'm just trying to, I don't know what to say. Uh, uh. Ralph Lauren makes me, um, I'm, I'm intimidated by him. Uh. I just am. So all of a sudden, Ralph Lauren goes, let me look. And goes to and look behind my jacket and see if it's the. Was it? There was no label. Sometimes labels drive me crazy, so I just take them out. But I can tell my heart's beating. I'm going, why do I care? It's just Ralph Lauren. Mm -hmm. But it just shows you, people can imitate, it can intimidate you. Yes, they can. And did, did you tell them that Cassidy should be a Ralph Lauren model? I did sort of, sort he should, of no, drop. No, no, I just said that people say to me when they meet her, she looks just like a Ralph she Lauren. She does. Yeah. She does look like a Ralph Lauren. Tomorrow Lauren. we're going to show you a, a couple of little pictures of Cass. It's a big unveiling for Cass tomorrow. The big Tune unveiling in. of the new Beaujolais is out. By the way, Ralph and his wife looked, I mean, they just. They look great. Please. This is special wine, though. It's just for Thanksgiving. It's especially out for the season. Well, it's not just Cheers. for Thanksgiving. It comes this when the harvest comes out. This time known as Thanksgiving wine of choice. They drink Beaujolais. It's released on the third Thursday of November. I know. But it's, it's, it it's a world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you had your nails done to match it this weekend. I did tell Can you, I you needed a manicure I never, on Friday. I never do color. <laughs> it so it is a little bit of a weird thing you know it's to do it. You think, I think it's, I love it when you match. You know but I love that. You know what? I'm, it's, it is weird. It doesn't even feel like your own hand when you put color on it. Well, we mm -hmm. have two friends um, that we love very much, actually three, that we want to give a little shout out to. One is our dear Al Roker, who writes a, uh, in this novel that comes out tomorrow, I guess. It's and, called um, The Morning Show Murders. Yeah, and, and I guess what, we're all in it in a weird way. Well, and you have to figure out who's who. I loved opening the paper to USA Today, and guess who's on it. the cover of that, it. too? I know it. The we Roker. got Al Roker. The Roker man. He is, there was a reporter who followed Al around throughout the course of one of his a days. A fabulous reporter named Craig Wilson, Terrific. whom I think it's the only time I've ever sent a, a fan letter to really? a reporter. He writes the final word column on the life section, uh -huh. I think, once, whenever. Uh -huh. And I always, always read him, and I'm always blown away by how much he conveys in a short amount of time. He's a brilliant writer. It's a great, it's a great article yeah. for her. So yeah. pull it up and read it. And get that book. Get the Morning Show Murders. It's a nice, quick, easy read. while you're at it doing your Christmas shopping, let's remember poor Regis, who doesn't have enough money. <laughs> Larry, Regis, and Joy are out with their very first duet album. And I was just listening to it. I didn't get a How chance. They just found. I just found it. They they, uh, they fed it, X'd it over or something like that. It's called Just You, Just Me. I used to do my nightclub act with Regis all uh -huh, the time for years and uh -huh. years and years. And when I left the show, we stopped performing yeah. together. And um, Susan Lucci went out with him for a while and different yeah. people. But then Joy started performing so with Joy him. So Joy sings too, huh? Yeah, Joy's, and Joy plays piano very well. So anyway, it's a, it's a very, I haven't had a chance to listen yet. All I got to was, 
I like New York in spring, in June. How about you? And then the, I had to come upstairs. You like singing. Once in a while. But anyway, it. I want you to know, wish them well with that. You know who that. loves singing, by the way, and was out on our plaza today? Susan Boyle came in from London yes. and sang, you remember the song, I Dream a Dream, I Dream the Dream? dream Let's listen. I'm gone by When hope was high And life worth living I don't know I why we're not showing the big moment Because we just have to warm up to it <laughs> Please, she sang, she three, sang songs, three songs Yeah, on the crowd. plaza Very different kind of crowd than we had for Bon Jovi Yes it was, but, but I gotta uh, tell you She, they, she did pack the house, Look how she? wrapped they are they, they, She just represents hope to so many people, I think. Every I really time I do. hear that song, I just remember the night we heard it, when she sang it live that night. Yes. It was incredible, and I love the crowd outside. It really was terrific. Yeah. It's a terrific group. You can tell that just she just means a great deal to It them. already popped as number one on Amazon.com. Ever? Are, yeah. Hi. F, the most uh, advanced sales ever for a CD. I can't believe people are still buying CDs. Way CD. more than, than mine, but, but watch out, because Regis <laughs> is right on her tail. I just can't believe people are still buying CDs. Do you know what I mean? With all the download, how easy it is to pick the songs you like, it seems weird that people still buy the whole CD. I don't know. I still, I, my first three albums were on that big three, 33 and a... Yeah? Th yeah, yeah. Yeah? When they were called records. So anyway, yes. um, lots going on. Yes. Um, Friday, after you had to, you were going down to, uh, up to Boston. Boston to see Karen, right? And you had a great weekend, right? Yeah, I had a terrific weekend. I went to um, uh, an amazing luncheon. It's called, uh, it's the Women's Annual uh, City Meals on Wheels mm -hmm. Luncheon. Mm -hmm. We don't re even realize, uh, those of us who are blessed in this country, how, how huge a problem hunger is mm -hmm. in our country now. And just here alone in New York City, I think City Meals on Wheels, I hope I don't get this wrong, 30 thousand hot meals a day wow. uh, are, 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 I don't know, not, maybe not a day, but are served to their, mm -hmm. their housebound people. Mm -hmm. they, and they're elderly, and it's more than just the food that they're getting, it's the, it's the, it's the friendship. I think it's, it's a care. terrific organization. It's, it's amazing. It's and today after our show, mm -hmm. that's why I'm wearing slacks, Sonny Grosso gets very, very upset with me when I'm not wearing a skirt, but Sonny, yes. for a good cause, you and I are going to go down to the Bowery. Yes. To the Mission, mission. downtown, mm -hmm. and we're going to feed uh, the Thanksgiving meal. That was too. You went with me year. last year. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very moving. Let's let's turn it over to Miss Sarah. Who we do missed we have to? Yes, we do, because we missed her on Friday, and she's back with us Sarah, today. Hi, Sarah. Hi. How are you? We're talking about Susan Boyle. Uh -huh. Shirley wrote in amazing voice, yeah. great woman. Go get him, Susan. Rhonda wrote in. She's an inspiration to women, young and old. Robin says she touches your heart when she sings, and Lee says I get goosebumps every time I hear her yeah. sing. Yeah, she sings. No, I know she really, really does. She's like an angel. All righty. Well, coming up, we are going to do a winter coat makeover. If you don't like your coat. It's too bulky, too whatever. We're going to help you out. After all, sometimes people do judge a book by its cover. Just look at Ralph.